Now for the starting lineup for tonight's game. At forward for Dexter Jr., standing 5'11". Number five, Caden Kimball. At forward for Diego Jr., standing 6'4". Number 35, Charlie Houghton. At forward for Dexter Jr., standing 6'2". Number 34, Will Kuznir. At forward for Diego Sr., standing 6 feet. Number 15, Wyatt Smith. At guard for Dexter Jr., standing 5'9", number 22, Bryce Connor. At guard for Diego Jr., standing 5'10", number 14, Trenton Hutchinson. At guard for Dexter Sr., standing 6 feet, number 11, Avery Gagne. At guard for Diego Jr., standing 5'10", number 11, Trent Holman. At guard for Dexter Sr., standing 5'10", number 12, Seth Robbins. And at guard for Diego Jr., standing 5'11", number 23, Dakota Tompkins. The coach for Dexter is Peter Murray. The coach for Diego is Cody St. Germain. We'll see what team has to do it. Kuzniers and Houghton jump center. They look each other in the eyes, so about both 6'2 or so. Referee Chris Thornton opening tip is controlled by Durigo. Yeah, uh, quickly you saw what their uh, approach is on offense for uh, uh, Durigo is post up Houghton and then spread the floor with three point shooters. Avery Gagne called for the foul, his first, as the first free throw around and in, and Durigo. He'll get one more. Second one's good. Two, trying to get home with that gold basketball. Gagne in the lane, puts it off the glass and in. Avery Gagne! In the floor. Connor comes back up with it for the Tigers. Underneath, Gagne all alone, lays it in. Avery Gagne! He tries one around the rim and off, no good. Houghton had the rebound pulled away by Kimball. Gives it out to Connor. Pull up, pop, got it. Offensive Connor. rebound leads to two points for the Tigers. Wainwright, baseline shot block. He kicks it out. Three point try. Tompkins, yes. Tompkins, Tompkins is one of those three point shooters that Coach St. Germain likes to employ. Kuzneer is now with the basketball. Trying to go to work. Baseline, Gagnon down inside. Kimball, shot's good. Great ball movement. Yeah, you Gives it off to Holman. Now Houghton. Holman, he'll try three. That's off the glass and in. Right back in it, the two three-point shots. Now Kuzniers catches in the corner. Down low, Gagne puts it up, off the glass and in. So he's got to be the recipient can if Kuzniers sure. not getting as many touches. Exactly. Green set, Houghton comes around. The kick out, three point shot at the buzzer, no good. And that's how the first quarter ends as Adams with the three point miss. It's a four point Dexter lead after one. We're back to the Augusta Civic Center in just a moment. On the sideline, and they knock the ball away, stolen by Wainwright. He's got a lane to the basket, lays it up and in. Nice, nice alert play. They hit a double team on Kuzniers. They turned it over and got a quick two. Connor. Kuzniers at the foul line. Back out to Robbins. Toes up from three. Yes. Seth Robbins for three. Answer back. Shot no good. The rebound by Houghton. Put back no good. Loose in the floor. Picked up by Kuzniers. Now knocked away. Back to Houghton. Right around his man. The shot's good. And the foul. His first and the free throw for Houghton is good. And the rebound taken down by Holman. He gives it out to Hutchinson. Nice pass inside. Up off the glass and in for Cody Gray. Great vision that time. The rim no good. Houghton pulls down the board. Cougars want to run. All the way to the glass. The way up goes for Hutchinson. Right now, 17-15. Gagne, baseline, pull up, pop, swish. Avery Gagne. So Gagne with a bucket, ties it at 17. Four and a half minutes to play in the first half. Here's Houghton. Houghton, spin move, shot's good. Charlie Houghton. Yeah, he's going to be tough down there, shooting over 
the smaller man in Connor. Top by two. This is the way championship basketball should be. Kanye, he answers back. Both, and both teams making shots. On the inbounds pass, it comes up top to Hutchinson. Corner, Tompkins three, slash. Nice set play that time for, for Dakota Tompkins. He's hit a couple of threes now. He's trailing by three. Robbins. Off in the corner. Gagne for three. Yes. Oh. Got to get back on defense, though. The other way, shot around and off, no good, but the rebound pulled down by Durago. Loose in the floor, Hutchinson feeds it down inside, off the glass and in, Trent Holman, and he's fouled. In the front court for Dexter, Connor. Off to Gagne, he's had the hot hand in the first half, why not another one? Keep it going. Set to go. This is Connor. Gets a good running start. Throws it up at the buzzer. Round it off. No good. And that's how the first half ends here from the Augusta Civic Center. And a good first half in this Class C State Championship. The score at the half, the Dexter Tigers at 25, the Durango Cougars at 24. We'll take a timeout, come back with halftime after this. It's Journey 2022 on the stations of Maine Public Television. Here's Connor. Out to Robbins. Now corner. Gagne, three on the way. And he got another one. His third of the game. I'm on Houghton, but turning the ball over has been a problem for them. This is Robbins. He'll try another three, and he makes it. As the three-pointer comes up short, Houghton the rebound, the putback, yes, and the foul. Good work. In the corner, Gagne, now Robbins. To Connor, tries three, swish. In the corner, Holman, almost had it lost. Tompkins pull up, pop from the foul line, got it to go. That deer goes not gonna go away, that's for sure. Coach St. Germain that time. They go right inside to Kimball, shot good. Hayden Kimball. The other way, Wainwright off the glass and in. Nathaniel Wainwright. Kanye goes to the line. First free throw is good. Houghton on the baseline. Now the pass up top. This three point try is good for Dakota Tompkins. Half. It's a four point lead for Dexter right now. Robbins to Kuzniers open for three. Yes! We finally get to see him take a shot. On the baseline, Gagne for three. Got it! Wow, is he having a game? Unreal. Tompkins inbounds, gets it up to Holman. Back to Tompkins, throws a three up at the buzzer, no good. And that's how the third quarter ends, a big one for the Dexter Tigers. They lead it by 10 going to the fourth quarter. We'll come back with that right after this in the stations of Maine Public Television. Now, Caden Kimball now down low to Kuzniers. Spans goes up with a shot, it goes, and the foul. He missed both of them. This is Houghton for Durago. He'll pull up for three, around and in. And the next Cougar foul will put Dexter in the one and one. Into Kuzniers, pulls up with a shot, get it to go. Whoa, nice shot by Kuzniers. He's got 10 down the lane, the runner off the glass and in for Hutchinson. Nice drive that time by Hutchinson. 
Definitely pressuring the passing lane. They've only get, had two team fouls, so you can uh, play a little bit like that. Down the lane, the shot, around it in, and the foul for Dakota Tompkins. Nice pass that time with the backdoor cut and the strong finish. There you see Houghton. Connors gets there just a little late, didn't establish position. Down to Durigan. Running down court with it. The shot up, off the glass and in, and the foul. Caden Kimball will call for the foul. Hutchinson with the basket. As the free throw is off the back rim, no good. Houghton pulls down the board, lays it in. That's a four point play. Corner, Kimball, now Kuzniers, ball loose, ball knocked away, Kuzniers picks it back up, inside, Gagne off the glass and in. All you got to do is find number 11. The first free throw by Houghton is good. As the free throw is good for Smith, he'll get one more. Cuts it down to a four-point ball game. Smith, the senior. The second shot is good. Smith is the lone senior on the Durago team at a timeout. So Robbins at the free throw line, a one and one. As the front end, a round and end for Robbins. Making that first one makes the second one just a little bit easier. Second one's good. Ball game. Dexter in a, a zone, very uncharacteristic. On the baseline, Houghton off the glass and in. And that was a nice set play against that 2-3 zone. They actually set a screen uh, for Houghton. Houghton with 15 in this championship final. Robin steps through the double team. On the baseline, Gagne goes to work, lays it in. Henry Gagne. 27 points for him tonight. This is Houghton for three. Yes. Big time shot right there. Big time. There's the ball. Here we go. Cougars into the front court with Hutchinson. Off the home and up top. Three point try. Tompkins off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound taken down by Durago. Shot blocked. As it comes out to Holman, he'll try three for the lead! Durago on top! Offensive rebounding again has been a problem for Dexter. He drives the lane, floats it up, no good. The put back off the glass in for Kuzniers! That one's good. Durago will get the inbounds pass. That was uh, Durago's last time out as well. They don't have any left. Yeah. Let's see what they've got dialed up here. Dakota Tompkins to inbound it. He comes in quickly. This is Hutchinson on the baseline. Houghton. Houghton for three. Yes! Yeah. At the buzzer. Charlie Houghton for three. The Durango Cougars win it. What a play. They dialed up. They ran it for Houghton. And he came through big time. 13 down to 10. And then after that, it was just uh, little by little. So the Nets come down for the Durango Cougars as that's the lone senior, Wyatt Smith. He hit the free throw that tied it at 56. Yep. It is our pleasure to present this gold ball, emblematic of the 2022 State Class C Boys Basketball Champions to the Cougars of Durango High School. Congratulations.